Hello, welcome to my channel, Another Bibliophile Reads. My name is Greg, and today I'm going to do a tag. Half Human Heroes Book Tag, originally created by Jeremy Fee for the book that he edited and published, which is called Half Human Heroes. It is a collection of 10 short stories published by your fellow booktubers. Now, I have not gotten this book yet, but it is on my list to get because I have some friends who have stories published in there. So I eventually want to do, or what should I say, I want to buy this, this book. Now this tag has 11 prompts and we will go through them. And each prompt is based on a contribution by a fellow booktuber. Prompt number one, forward by Philip Chase. Give a shout out to someone in the fantasy booktube community. I am going to shout out David Wiley, who has a story published in this collection. And I'm shouting him out because we are partners in reading short stories, science fiction short stories mostly. And um, we talk on Voxer and we pick a book to read and then we read short stories and discuss them. We've done The Illustrated Man by Ray Bradbury, Dangerous Visions by Harlan Ellison, um, a collection of short stories by Ursula K. Le Guin. I can't remember the title of that short story collection right now. And currently we are working through the current months, or the current edition of Analog Science Fiction Magazine. So it's fun to um, discuss short stories with David Wiley. We agree with some things and disagree on others, but because of that, I am giving him the shout out. Prompt number two, Dishonored in Debt by Mason a day. Who are your favorite sibling characters in a story? I'm going to go with the brothers Karamazov and Fodor's Dostoevsky, in Fodor's Dostoevsky's novel. And we have Dmitri, Ivan, and Alosia. And I'll let you read the rest of the book to figure that one out. This is a classic book of a, this is a classic Russian novel. It is a very dense, very important very thought-provoking novel. And the dynamics between the brothers are just incredible. You can really see this um, dysfunctional family between these brothers. Stunning novel. Prompt number three, Goatman's Bridge by P.M. Brown. What is your favorite story with the supernatural in it? Now, I don't know my all-time favorite story with the supernatural, but within this last year or this last quarter, I am going to pick The Fisherman by John Langan. This is the story of a man who lost his wife young in life. She, was, she died too young of cancer. And to um, help him overcome that grief, he turned to fishing. And as he grew older, he became an expert fisherman. And then in his job, there was another employee who lost his wife and child in a car accident. And um, he taught his, his colleague the art of fishing to help overcome grief. However, his colleague did some research into a very unusual fishing spot, which had some sordid history. And that history delves deep into the supernatural. And it is just one of the best horror novellas or short novels that I have read in a, in a long time. So I'm going to pick The Fisherman by John Langan. Prompt number four, The Band Gets Together by Dane Cobain. What is your favorite story that incorporates music? I'm going to pick a trilogy. Vernon Subertex by Virgin Dupont. This is, I said, a trilogy translated from the French. It starts off with a record store owner named Vernon Subertex. And Subertex 
if you don't know, is basically the, the French equivalent of methadone for heroin addicts. So it's a very bizarre name. Well, anyway, Vernon Supertex owns a record store, and he is very knowledgeable about music. If you come into his store, he can point you to just the right album that will satiate your needs. Unfortunately, the economy just does not cooperate with Vernon, and um, he goes out of business and becomes homeless. Now, I will leave it at that other than to say that this book incorporates everything wild. It has um, gay characters, transgendered characters, vicious characters, criminal characters, a whole lot, and it ends on a wild, wild note. But sparkled through this novel is references to music, because of course Vernon knows music very well. And the author, you can tell, also loves music because she's just sparkling references to music throughout the book. And now some of those references I didn't really get because I'm not really a music person, but that didn't distract from the book. It was still an interesting trilogy. Prompt number five, Home of the Gnome by Jeremy Fee. What is your favorite playful or interesting title? I am going to go with The Postman Always Rings Twice by James M. Kane. It's, it's, it's an intriguing title. You're thinking, why is this postman ringing twice? Well, you'll have to read the book to find out. And it's not an obvious connection. You, you have to think about the connection between the title and the story. But The Postman Always Rings Twice is a story set in the 30s. It is a crime novel of a, a drifter who comes across a, an out-of-the-way cafe in California and falls in love with the beautiful but married woman working behind the counter. And the married woman, she's not really happy with her husband. And of course, the solution is murder. One of the greatest crime novels ever written, The Postman Already Swings Twice by James M. King. Just read it. Prompt number six, Abandoned Hope by Jessica Haas. What is your favorite moral quandary in a story? Now, I don't read a lot of fantasy, but I felt I should include at least one fantasy story in this prompt about fantasy stories. So I am going to pick Lord Fowl's Bane by Stephen R. Donaldson. It is a trilogy. Um, it's quite a classic trilogy. But in this story, the main character, Thomas Covenant, rapes a 15-year-old girl. And there, there are reasons for this. He, he thinks he's dreaming. But yeah, Thomas Covenant is a horrible human being at the beginning of this. But it is believed in this fantasy land which he is transported to that he is the reincarnation of an ancient hero. Think about a teenage girl encountering what she thinks is the reincarnation of Abraham Lincoln and how starstruck she would be. That's sort of an equivalent. But Thomas Covenant rapes her. And um, it is determined that he is this hero. And the mother of the raped girl must transport Thomas Covenant to safety, to a council of lords. Now, think about that. Think about being a mother and looking at your daughter's rapists, and you are assigned the duty to protect him and deliver him to safety. Yeah, that woman is a moral quandary just roiling inside of her. And um, what happens to that woman? You'll have to read the book to find out. Prompt number seven, Emerentine Amphitheater by Liam QD Hall, what is your favorite immortal character? I'm going to pick the narrator of The Immortals by Martin Amos. This is a short story about a man who says he is immortal. He was around 
before humanity even started and had lived through all the rises and falls of civilization until humanity blows up the world in a nuclear war. And this story was written in the 80s, so nuclear war was a much bigger thing. But he is an immortal. And um, he talks about the troubles of being an immortal in a post-apocalyptic world. Or is he? Really, really fascinating short story. Check it out if you can find it. The Immortals by Martin Amos. Prompt number eight. Lies of the Sunstone and the Hybrid Prince by S.D. Huston. Who is your favorite thief character or story with a heist in it? I'm going to sort of, you know, use thief and heist a little loosely, but I'm going to pick The Hustler by Walter Tevis. And in this, this is a story of a pool hustler who wants to get the better of the best pool player in Chicago. And um, he's dealing with, um, let's just say, less than savory characters in his um, aim to be the best pool player in Chicago. And yet he, 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 he is on the lowdown. It is sort of a heist, sort of a thief, sort of a cheat, and sort of a skill because he is a very good pool player, but really good novel. I think there's been a movie made of it, but you know, you know me, I don't give a fuck about the movies. Prompt number nine, Red Eyes by Kupel Yusuf Kark. What is your favorite story with an adventuring party or found family in it? I am going to pick the Burke series by Andrew Vox. Um, Andrew Vox was an attorney in New York working exclusively with children and adolescents and basically protecting them from the, city, city, the, the system and other criminal activity. And it is the story of a criminal named Burke who has no family. But across the series, he does form a family. He has friends. He has um, Silent Max, Mama Wong, Mama something. Um, you have uh, Michelle, who is a transgendered character or a pre-op transgendered. And this was in the 80s, so it's, it's a long time ago. But he and other people get together and they form a true family and they protect endangered children in most of the books. And it is all about crime and because Burke is a criminal. Make no doubt about that. And it is just interesting to see about how you can form a family when you don't have a family. Prompt number 10, More or Less Human by Margaret Ponard. What is your favorite story with a surprise or moral twist? or reveal in it. I'm going to pick a book that I read just last month. It is The Nickel Boys by Colin Whitehead. It won the Pulitzer Prize a number of years ago. And it is the story of a young African-American man um, set in the 60s, or even 50s. And um, he is sent to a um, reform school because he was caught in a car, a stolen car. Now he did not steal a car, he was just hitchhiking. And the driver of the car was a thief, but he got sent to this reform school. And um, it is a brutal school. It describes the racism that is involved in these schools. But interspersed in this is the story of him growing up or after he was released from the reform school. And if you read these other sections that just you say, this really doesn't seem right, but you, you, you go with it. And then there's this wonderful twist ending that you do not see coming. Of course, you did see it coming because you, you do recognize that there's something slightly off in some of the narratives. So a very well done twist. Prompt number 11, defense of the Burgoyne by David Wiley. What is your favorite battle in a story? And I'm taking battle as not an individual battle, um, but I'm taking as just a battle, 
or a war. And I'm going to pick the Commonwealth Saga by Peter F. Hamilton. Okay, it's not quite fantasy, but it's science fiction, so, you know, they're cousins. And this is the story of humanity who discovers a very vicious alien race, and it becomes a battle of survival because this alien race is hell-bent on destroying humanity. So that is my half-human heroes book tag. Who am I going to tag? Um, I don't know who's been tagged in I think a lot of people have been tagged in this. I know I was tagged twice. I was tagged by Alan, Big Hard Books and Classics, and Dane Cobain. So who am I going to tag? I will tag Bad is Rad. I will tag um, MJ. And I will tag Jim's Books, Reading, and Stuff. Now, you don't have to be a fantasy reader. You do not have to read this collection of stories to do this tag. If you want to do it, just do it. There's some interesting questions in this tag. Well, anyway, thank you for watching and keep on reading.